Hello and welcome. Right, I have spent a bit of time preparing for this one because I always found in Hobo's Hollow that that makes all the difference. There are a couple of jobs that we need to do though to actually start going. But, yeah, one, oh, that is the point. Yeah, did we do, I don't think we did. No, we've not got the information for the biggie, have we? You know, we've only got our, right, the, I've got this poised here to get the uh, the scanner. We're going to do that first. We're going to buy one as well. It is, uh, even though it's, it's um, it's quite late in the last. Do we buy or do? We, is this just going to be the no? It's, it's it is one of those things, really. It is a waste, really, to actually buy one now when you're scanning just once, and if you lease it again, it's just under a grand to lease it, rather than yeah, you're not wasting seventeen thousand. It's just if you were the, the beginning of the let's play, the, there's a bit of sensibleness to it, really, but not now, right? About halfway. Just remember that. I'm trying to get firmly fixed in my head. Yeah, the uh, that's, that's what we want, and we'll just yeah, as it is. Okay, so this is what we're doing first because we need to quickly scan. I'm going to go into a time lapse because this is still going to be a monster, even though we've got everything prepped. But uh, yeah, this is the first job. Otherwise, it makes no sense if we can't fertilize if we've not got the uh, field data. Right, so I'm going to go straight into a time lapse. And we'll see you guys and gals on the other side.
right, that is pretty much done. I, it's really awful that you can't actually use the tools. It's so frustrating to actually have to use a worker when you could really do it yourself. <laughs> we certainly didn't cut it close, really. Yeah, there was a uh, quite amazing, really. Oh, yeah, it said something about a collision. I was literally parked into the back. Yeah, these fantastic little things. One of the few things I managed to actually keep in character, although there's a lot of European stuff, but there's also a bit of John Deere as well, imports. But I suppose it is difficult. You, you can do it, but I, I, I think if I did watch Mr. CDP do it with the Russian map. And it was very difficult uh, to limit yourself to just the things that you can. Because even in those countries, he did say himself in the end that um, when well, you can input, that's the box where we got caught, where the workers snagged us on that, where I had to literally eject the back, which rocks you. Yeah, I thought I, I was lucky. You know, I didn't think about it, but I literally eject the back. And of course, it shook me off the actual pole. <laughs> it's just quite. I was imagining having to. Uh, yeah, push it off or lift it off with the big back hand but luckily that actually fixed it for us more by luck than judgment as the old saying goes so yeah I've forgotten it was uh, April I didn't know but yeah you, you get so fixated on like the month of March we've got yeah we'll have a quick look this I, I, I knew the biggest field the biggest job of today with only a six meter was obviously doing the um, cotton. I knew that was going to be the monster, which is why I wanted to set that quite quickly. But then, of course, we got the scan into the field, and which I showed you for quite a few seconds, so as you can see that. But we'll have a good look now because they still. I would have to imagine cotton's a good thing. I'd imagine there's enough in there to finish it. So what have we done? Yeah, and of course, there's there's going to be like nitrogen in. We did. I did. We do all the liming remind me I, I, th I thought we had done all of that yeah we did oh I'm not sure about 55 yeah no we did yeah no we did we did 55 we didn't do these two new fields and you can see the difference really between those two so they need doing uh, we've done all of these the data's going dark so of course yeah it's, just, <laughs> it's a shame that pH perfect and they're no longer in fields but yeah everything else pH wise is good uh, nitrogen, obviously that's prepped, that's all. Uh, 57 likewise has nothing in it yet. Neither does that, because these, that, that, 57 I'm not sure of. Um, that's got potatoes. That's going to be one, uh, I've ridged it so you obviously guessed that that was, I thought that and that, they can be carrots, because we've got a lot of carrots, but I don't want to like not do carrots well. Um, I want, I think, that one there's going to be parsnips because that's we've gotten very little and that's going to be a normal a normal crop with oats that and with oats that i need to nitrogen that and 53 is obviously the last of the three crops that we need to do so carrots carrots parsnips beets red beets yeah so that that's really is fantastic which leaves us a choice for 57 so yeah big field 57 we can choose we've only got a cedar really and we haven't got any oh wow that's a bit of a weird orange line on that i don't know what that's about that would be yeah they, they attacked each other i knew they would the second it said finish work i thought that's going to be the sprayer <laughs> <laughs> so I quickly grabbed it. Unfortunately, not quite quick enough. The John Deere had, had, was dragging it around the field. <laughs> I've never seen a tractor shoot off so quick when I told it to like uh, scoot off. But yeah, that was quite. It was it was funny sort of. But yeah, we've done all the work on that one. We've done yeah. If we look on the edge, you shouldn't say um, yeah. You've got to give it a few seconds to settle down. The weed growing. <laughs> Now that's bizarre. We spot weeded that. We paid a fortune for that bit of technology. Don't you dare tell me that we've still got weeds growing. I am on the right field. Aren't you? Yes, I am. Ugh. Oh, this happened on another map as well. We've we've done all of that. We paid a fortune. We ne nearly skinted ourselves to buy that technology, and it looks very much like that we're going to have to weed again when they've actually grown. And we know you're allowed to do this, so. Ah, yeah, that's we've done all the work we needed to do with that. So 57, 
is our free choice fields. Uh, I, was, I was thinking sunflowers, but the trouble is, um, we've, yeah, I'm trying to think actually, the one thing we've got to do, which obviously we've got no money again, but then when you invest in so much land and you've got a seed and all the rest of it, I think we've got enough seeds to do the things. Obviously we bought a lot of expensive equipment. I did think, you know, when I said about I'm going to have my choice of uh, the, I thought, yeah, we should, we should see what well, we did, but yeah. Right, so, and, and obviously that cost us 80 grand. That was the biggest expensive there. I thought, well, let's have one of those. Uh, it's, it's my favourite non trails, that is. And it's not a bad price, but obviously, when you spot do the, the uh, weeds, the spot weeding thing, that obviously that really doubles it pretty much. So, we've done all that we can for this session. I'm well chuffed. Yeah, we've just got that one field, and then obviously, all the vegetables will need to plant those. But we've got the potatoes done and all prep work, and there was a lot of prep work. Now, is there anything else that needs rolling? Yeah, we've looked at that. If we look at the growing, you can see how much is uh, he, you know, to see he, he's got left to do. It looks like a three more is down, going down one. I think there's two more after that. So we can see 56. There's a bit of a, yeah, a bit of something missing there. And a bit of something missing there. We've got that that planted nicely, um, and that yeah, that's it. Yeah, potatoes. No, no, no. I knew there was something else. Yeah, that big field of potatoes. So it's amazing teamwork. It just goes to show two of the agrizettes. If you'd had one of that, it would have taken forever and a day. Two of them. I, yeah, and as you saw, it was five thousand to upgrade that tractor. I always thought it was ten, but at least it's done. It it was struggling, and I thought that's it's lagging behind because it's only fifty nine horsepower. What is the horsepower requirement of that, the Agrisa? I know it's not a lot, but obviously it's got to be a little bit more than potato technology. Uh, really, it was more, much more than capable of doing that. So that's a bit odd. It is, because it was really struggling. It was wheel slipping. It's much more than 30. It's double the requirements. And the field wasn't exactly... That's weird. I, I suppose it is like sometimes certain tools don't suit certain tractors. A bit like the AB, it's, it's the king of certain jobs, but it's a terror for any job where it needs to be higher. Yeah, the, the potato on it, it almost got the, the horsepower requirements because it's a low tractor. It met, basically meant there was pressure going on the back hitch and the, the um, implement was rising up, which then meant it was putting a lot of pressure on it and it couldn't handle it very well. Whereas there's other things that are low, like the belt system, that it's absolutely the king of that job. So it is what it is, isn't it? But yes, I'm not sure what we're going to... Oh, it's only one more, actually. I was a little bit wrong on that. Let's have a look. What are we going to plant tomorrow, then? I'm thinking sorghum, because it's, it's pig food. It's the other thing that you can do instead of corn. Really? The pigs? We, we, we've not got a... Um, we haven't got a planter, and it seems a bit of a shame to buy one when we could do sorghum, which is exactly the same as using corn. So with the main constituent, we would have... We could even keep some oats, actually, because oats are important for pigs. But yeah, we've... Have we, I can't remember what we've got in our... Uh, yeah, sunflowers also, but again, we, we could, we'll buy some pig food for some, but we can add the sorghum, and that'll save us actually buying some of the pig food. So, yeah, I'm thinking sorghum. That's what we're going to do. It's also a cracking crop for not requiring a lot of seeds. And that's not what I'm doing. It really is for the pigs. It, it matches what we're doing. So, right, I believe we're about to finish or have finished. I'm not sure oh, we have. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we topped up once. I was at the top of the field and I thought, come on, I bet it's getting a little bit. It was, it got plenty, but I thought if you, it might just about have done it just by the skin of its teeth. Because cotton, again, is one of those things that doesn't really require a lot of seeds. They are quite amazing, a bit like sorghum, really. Yeah, the, the, and if you'd have done this with sugar beets, we'd have needed to do fill this ten times over. <laughs> it's just amazing. Yeah, sorghum's another one like cotton, really, that is super duper on the uh, seeding sort of bit. So, and we'll fact, let's change this to sorghum ready for tomorrow morning. Brilliant. Let's top this up. And it didn't use hardly any. Yeah, obviously, it must be very self sustaining for the nitrogen. I loved using that, um, the ridiculous uh, Dominic truck. Oh to do the um, 
yeah, to all. Oh. Not close enough to the seeds. I think we need to get a little bit closer. That's more like it. That's more like it. I would imagine that's pretty much. Yeah, we're going to need to. I would say we've got to get another thing of seeds. Yeah, <laughs> that, that proves my theory. Definitely, we need some more seeds. Now we know with the vegetable technology, which is um, yeah, we I think we've got enough there to do the sorghum, but the vegetable technology is very, very amazing for. Right, we know this is right at the end now. I am trying to learn. So seeds, I think we only need one. That should do is for all of the vegetables, and that really is it, which leaves us with 17,261. Now, obviously, we have got a bit. I knew that we couldn't obviously do running down and selling the this, and plus, which we've not got a lot anyway. We did a massive one, um, yeah, a couple yesterday, last month. Yeah, I've got to stop saying day, so yeah. Although, there is that is true, there is actually more in there, so yeah, I mean, I didn't do the pushing thingy, so let's just do that and see. What? Because there's quite a bit inside. Let's have a look to see exactly how much there is. It's an amazing thing, but you, I was right in editing that I definitely got it right. This I've got a bit more methodical because I was pushing them at a weird angle, which means when you do it right like this, it pushes them perfectly square, and that's obviously the real aim of the game, really. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not quite um, filled them to two tons because they're two ton, two thousand liters, aren't they? So it's nearly done. Another set of one, two, three, four, another four, but not quite. So there's a big thing there, which we, it's a good job because we are really that really pushed us to the limit. Of course, we have filled in some of the holes of the equipment that we need. Yeah, the MX pack. I'll be using those quite frequently because they're only a two-ton box. This is good, but then it's gonna—it's faffy. It is. I, I like it, and I think that's why it was. You can, of course, put seed bags in it, and then you can drop it on the floor, and you can fill your things from having the seed bags in it, or fertilizer likewise. But it's it's stop, start, stop, start, stop, start, and obviously, really, in this, it's streamlining your operation. As I have always said, efficiency, and that is inefficient from my perspective so therefore it's not one that it probably isn't one I'm going to use much um, but I'm going to keep it in because it's one of those things that you that is useful but not for what I'm trying to use it for the MX is a cheaper version of the 2.2 that's why I keep it and why I allow it on the front because it's actually um, better well it's lighter than the um, planters that's it it's in planters the front boxes aren't they yeah this solitaire is eight grand for a two ton one and the other one is at the end and that is a 2.2 ton so i allow this because it's no bigger but also it's more flimsy so actually it's lighter yeah it's 600 kilograms i don't know if it actually is though but really it should be but i mean i suppose that's got well it's plastic and metal so if we have a look at the mx just want to make sure that uh now that i think it's not very far in yeah, I mean the Joskin is a back box. It is so it really is. It's three cubic meters, five hundred kilograms. So how much? How heavy is the MX pack? Because this is what I've always got on this hypothesis that it's, uh, yeah, six hundred kilograms. It's well made. It, is, it looks like it's metal, but it's still within a, a similar range, two point two liters. So again, I've, I I like that because also you can do everything with it. It's a bit awkward to empty. It is, but then if you're going to just stick it as it's always going to have seeds for your cedars, then you can stick a row of them. Yeah, I mean, another thing on this, I've never got around to sticking the well, we're going to buy sheds, weren't we? Ha ha ha. <laughs> yeah, we need to obviously um, sell some product and then we are doing that. The other thing is, I realized I was true, I mean, I did mention it trees i've not forgotten the trees but i knew as soon as we hit march we've got so much work to do that i wouldn't be able to do the trees we are going to do it because obviously in april really there's not much for us to do if we set the um fed two hitting two two at a time or 
we hit them like especially the little fields we'll hit them one at a time we'll hit this with two as we were or as i was planning to do all along until it told me that it was not for this month and i thought you wally of course it's not <laughs> i should have known that well i did know but I forgot yeah so we'll set two of them going on this because it is fairly large but the two little ones we're going to send yeah let's do it on here because it's easier to see uh, or yeah here that's one so we'll send one to do that patch one to do cp4 they're not it's, yeah that cp4 is a bit bigger so they're the two carrot ones so we shall set one carrot one there one carrot one there two of the um we said this was going to be parsnip so that means that's got to be yeah beetroot as i call it or red beet as the game calls it my favorite veg yeah it is a little bit beetroot so yeah we'll do that as beetroot so we'll have two on that one two obviously on that one one on that one and one on that one i don't i mean at different times obviously because we've not got four but you know what i mean yeah and then 57 we will sorghum that in the morning too and yeah, we could have actually taken that across but it's been it has been a monster session actually i'm quite chuffed with what we've achieved all rolling let's just check that make sure that i've done everything right i think i have i don't think you need to roll cotton but we shall see because <laughs> if we do then you, no you don't i didn't think you did i didn't think cotton was a rolling job uh it says that needs rolling but then that's only prepped so unless that's actually cultivated no no int is yeah that's cultivated that that says it needs rolling but that's because it's prepped for I don't, it probably doesn't understand yet really the game's not have it programmed to understand that obviously we've done that but i did wonder if it was a special plow but I, I noticed here i went over it and it doesn't so i thought ah, it's not a plow it really is just for aesthetics you know like oh and it wouldn't do that i did go over that for some reason i don't know whether it's it would not actually do it and yet it has been sort of done so it's a bit of a weird one but yeah it's definitely not a special plan but it really is and it's a heavy duty thing to make these uh yeah, the the furrows really but yeah it, it did it. it's a, a good thing but it was expensive gordon benny it was and also it was about the same price as buying the two three meters so i thought well i'd sooner have a six meter any day than a three i'm not a massive fan but yeah 28 56 would be double but so it's slightly more um horsepower obviously i mean it's still 160 horsepower so really it is a bit of a beastly bit of kit and it is it looks absolutely tremendous but yeah i think going forwards if i've got teams i might have a team of two threes but the trouble is they often clash into each other so yeah but that is it i mean we don't need to worry about those this year but we've got some headers to buy obviously because we've only got that was the one thing that did sort of shock me a little bit um was the fact that the veg well, i suppose they are different yeah i mean this one is the cotton which yeah which shows a picture of the cotton on it um obviously we're going to do this i'm going to color them as well though so that it, it visually sort of shows you i mean that's silver so it's not really white but yeah i mean the rest we're going to like color um, beetroot i'm going to go red and parsnips i'm going to go creamy color and um it does potatoes too doesn't it it does literally all of them it's absolutely amazing i think so i think it's yeah we know that the vegetable technology is in miscellaneous but the rest are actually in their respective technologies so i think it will do beets as well but i'm not we're not interested in that on this particular let's play so we're interested in potatoes yeah i think the header is in here for that one i think i think i'm right in saying so there we go yeah the standard one yeah, so 5.4 meter, which is a little bit special. It's slightly bigger than the four that we're all used to. Is it? Is it? I think it's four. Isn't it is the big. I'm only going to go the real. Yeah, I am. So we've got the potato one as well. So we need that's a 10,000, and then we've got the each of the vegetable ones needs their own header. So I, I, what I'm getting at is that the vegetable technology is one harvester. 
but these require I mean I'm not complaining I'm just saying there's a lot of kits to store as well that, that's what the other thing I'm, I'm thinking and but we do really need sheds we, I feel a little bit yeah we've really not got enough sheds for this this little lot now so I'm, the next most important thing now that we've got our animals and all the rest of it is definitely sheds yeah, I'm not speed. Uh, do we take it through? We've done everything we can for March. I think we should go through till tomorrow morning. And we're not obviously it's 11 o'clock in the morning, so if for some reason, even if you're uh, over one hour, it's seriously. I mean, that's wrong, it really is. I mean, I'm not a mathematician, but I can work out that like, was no way that I should be losing half of the day for one hour. That's ridiculous, it really is. Right, I think we've done everything. Yeah, I've fed the animals as well. Yeah, I've got to, Oh, I didn't take the stones off. I knew I hadn't. I saw it when I did it. Ah, yeah, I meant to do that. And I can't... I, that, yeah, once you've done your seeding or planting, it's it's sealed in, isn't it? Locked in. So, yeah, and that was... Knew it was something else I meant to do, but it, it's not too bad. It's, yeah, you never get it all right. There's always something that gets... It's not the end of the world, is it, really? That's all I'm saying. Right, what was I? What was I going to look at? <laughs> animals. That's right, animals. Yeah, yeah. That's that. The that should start to fill itself as well, really. And these are oh, are they going to reproduce in the morning? Or I can't remember if it is twenty five percent. Or we shall see in the morning. It's completely filled. It probably will be out. Water's good chickens don't have water well not these chickens anyway right so we will sleep through and it is eight o'clock it's going to be a long day got a lot of work still to do but we've broken its back i think i think we've done more yeah i mean the cotton field alone was the the biggest single task prepping the new fields clearing all the woods yeah i just don't want to get the um the things planted really that's uh the most important thing to me Oh, 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 it's growing fantastic yeah let's have a look at the, the potatoes let's have a look at the green on the fields yeah always ever since having the no yeah it, i told you it is it's done exactly the same as it did that all the time so we need to do the weeding again and waste our resources on doing that it's terrible I don't know what it is about Right, yeah, we've got growth on that. We've got growth on that. Growth on 56, growth on CP3, or my field as I call it. Obviously, everything else is prepped. So we'll get that done this coming session. And what is in the sale? It's not that we've got any money. Oh, isn't that typical? I knew this would happen. I was thinking that, you know, I was like the sprayer. And it's, if I'd have known what I know now, I'm shouting, I apologise. Yeah, if I'd have known what I know now, then I would have literally, obviously, because we've wasted our time doing that. Because, uh, yeah, we've already got a lorry. I know that's a different kind of lorry, but I'm quite happy with uh, what we've got. That's, yeah, that's the double one, isn't it? I think it is. Yeah, with the bit in the middle, 75.6 cubic metres. It is, it's a bit of a biggie, but only again, it's one of those that only does certain things. And I realise also, it's a good job I haven't put the production down because we would be skipped, but we do need to do that. We, I don't want to rely on just that. The other thing is, we have got quite a lot of stone. We have. I, I would like to see how much stone we've got, really, because we could get got 21 tonnes, 22 tonnes almost of stones. Now, we can go two routes. Although, if we're not doing it all the time, I think what we'll do is probably make, put the uh, production shed down only for self-sufficiency. I, I didn't put that down on purpose. I did. I was going to, and I didn't, but I think I will. We're going to use the stones to make apples. Um, we're not going to do the herbicide because you can't produce salt, although I think there is something now that can. I, I vaguely at the back of my mind, I've looked at a factory that does something like that. So if it is, we might actually be having a look at that. Yeah, we're gonna put the Omatana down the farm factory by Omatana. We wanna put that down the 50 grander, which should do all of the jobs that I would normally put down for the Lort. It's dearer, but obviously we've now got the bigger farmyard. Yeah, we have. We, we've got all of this space here and here to put productions and sheds down. So I'm, I'm 
Yeah, no, no, really, it's true. Um, I'm not sure about the design of it, but I am true. I'd like another shed over here, lit in the middle, just just one, sort of like, and it's not going to be very big, and probably similar to that one, maybe the same one. Although I think that's a little bit too big, so I think there's a smaller one, and then obviously there is there is a bit of room there, but I'm yeah, there's that little island there actually, where you could actually put one in. Mm, see I don't like on the edge of fields like that that's not too bad you could literally take those three trees because we do own all of that land and stick something there but again it's almost now this isn't a good contender because we didn't extend the field and we do own all of that but again I don't like it doing edge of fields because they bump into them it, it causes issues unless in certain places now here again it is a similar situation but there's all the way down there Bearing in mind that the thing is going to be going up and down, and if I do enough headlands, it'll never go across there. So there's that's an option, and also it's quite big here. Really, I was looking at this. That's that is a real contender for a shed, I think, for down that end. So we could store the beat the harvester, the big harvester. Yeah, not the, the right down there, really. Because the silo's not, well, not that the silo's got anything to do with it, really, but yeah. So there's a lot of work to do, but there's a lot of work behind us. Yeah, we're, we're weeding to do again. I, I have a good mind to give myself the cash back for the lost stuff that we've wasted, because it's ridiculous, that is. We are, of course, going to need, I'm not sure if this has narrows. That's the one thing I'd like to do before we scoot, is check that, oh, it did only use 1%, but it did do it. We could see it on the field, so that's broken and it did used to work I've got to be honest uh, Mr CDP always used to go on about weeding not working in FS19 and he was right it was very hit and miss I always had it on and most of the time it behaved itself FS22 did was always right until a few months back when all of a sudden it stopped working it was the first time I've ever had that but it did do that all that so we want what oh narrows I don't think this has got narrows so we can swap it for the fence if that's if it's the case. I'm sure I've looked at this before and it hasn't got narrows, but we'll have a look. I might be wrong. I have been known to be wrong frequently. <laughs> yeah, it is. No, it hasn't. I'm right. Yeah. Okay, so then in that case. We will be swapping this for, well, the fennel, the zeta, but the zeta's really a little bit, and the abyss, good, but uh, no, we've got other, we could use swap the tractors over. This could use the, cedar, I was just thinking, sorry, I was just, I was having about six thoughts in my head at one time. <laughs> <laughs> typically but yeah it would be nice if we swap this over then it will mean that uh, oh that's right we didn't quite fill it did we let's just fill that completely ready for the morning although I do think to be honest with sorghum being such a cracking crop that really we don't need to worry about it but yeah but at least it's done then isn't it right so let's no I don't need to but we will yeah we've got it's a quarter of a tank so it's not and also Let's repair it. We've got this brief lull. Now, I did use everybody as well, even the little John Deere. It's uh, 100 horsepower. It's a bit limiting, but we could have used it for some of the other jobs. I believe we've actually got the narrows already in one brand. Ah, is it the other one? Might be that I'm thinking of one of the other tractors. I thought we did Midas. Nope, obviously not. Ah, it is. So obviously I haven't. Must I could have sworn I had, but no, I'm not. I'm not saying anything. Yeah, it's it's well worth it. It is it one of the other. It's the AB. It is the AB. I just I think this suits that better. Is all I'm going to say. 
yeah it's not it's taller and heavier the AV is very low and yeah the it's just gonna be quite low to the ground so yeah we need next things we do definitely need though are it's um, yeah things like shelves and stuff like that uh, well there's enough time on the left so this is the trouble you get so far in that's the only trouble with starting scratch I've always known that you're a bit of a bit of a nomad a bit of a wanderer and obviously you, you, sheds are not the most important thing and the, the line keeps changing you think oh I need this oh I need that and then you've not got 30 grand for that shed or 20 grand for that shed so you think oh it'll have to wait till next month or and that's the trouble it gets, keeps getting pushed on and on and on and then you miss out and that's why sometimes even the very last episode uh, Western Wilds I think I did it on the episode before last and on um, they start from scratch on Agnes Balcone. No, 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 it was Ron Boss. It was Ron Boss. Yeah, then that one likewise. The last session was terrible. This is 56. I thought I'd got that uh, course on. Obviously not. Oh no, did we just swap tractors? He did have that on. It's true. But you just swapped tractors. It's true, we did. Yes, that escaped my notice. Well, it didn't, but you know what I mean. I, I didn't think about it. Yeah, so we will do this again. Yeah, definitely. And we've got a roller, a very posh roller. Yeah, they, I mean, I know this shed has done very well, but we, we literally like, it's bursting out the seams. Again, we probably can afford another one of these. And uh, it, yeah, I don't mind them. I actually like this. It's one of my favorite designs because there's no central supports. It's got just big beams that are keeping it all together. So I like that. Yeah, so there we go. But we do need more, definitely. Um, and I'm not just going to go for... They are very reasonable uh, as well. That's not the reason I like them, though. It really isn't. I like the design. I mean, I'm a massive fan of the uh, Easy Sheds, even though they have got supports, because they're not too terrible. So, yeah, the equipment is coming on. Uh, that is where I'm going to leave it, though. Down to 16,153. We do... Ah, they've dropped. Of course they have. should actually get one more set of everything but the potatoes I think if, I, if I'm reading that right yeah brilliant uh, yeah so again somehow really we could do with I, don't, I think we can do the vegetables we've got all of the stuff we need to get the job done tomorrow really it, that that's all that really matters so after that we can concentrate on the obviously we've got to feed the animals which i did in a swizz oh yeah i know that's next next time's uh, problem not mine that we will feed those on the beginning of the next session we will but all that remains to be said is thank you very much for watching truly do hope you're going to stick with me on this journey and i'm going to say goodbye for now.